In this video, we are going to see an example. First of all, we will look at the example, which is the example 16. Suppose you have a warning light system to indicate a machine is running. Two green lights, Q1 and Q2, indicates the machine A runs for about 20 seconds. Next, machine B runs for 10 seconds, which is indicated by two yellow lights, Q3 and Q4. And last, a reset button is used to reset the process or the plant. Now let's head over to the OpenPLC editor and construct the ladder diagram for the given example. First of all, I need to create a new project. I will press Ctrl N and then I will click on to the create a new folder as industrial example. 16. I will select the folder. Then I'm going to change the language to the diagram and press OK. Now I will create or add two power rails, one on the left side and one on the right side. And after that, I'm going to add some variables here. My first variable will be start. Onto my Second variable, which is going to be reset. My third variable is machine A. And another variable, which is machine B. Then memory bit zero and Q zero one, zero two, zero three, and zero Now I'm done with the variables. I'm going I'm going to add now my first contact which is the start. I will adjust the block size and I'm going to connect these pins. And my second contact is the reset, which is normally closed. Contact and in series with the start, normally open contact. And in parallel, I'm going to use the memory bit zero. Make a push button. Then after, I am going to add a coil on the right side with the address M0. After, I'm going to join these pins and onto my second rung, I will add the memory bit zero, normally open contact. I will adjust its size and I'm going to add a block from the standard function blocks, which is the time pulse. 
or pulse hammer then on to the coil side I'm going to add the machine A adjust the size then I'm going to add another two coils with the address Q1 and Q2 which will act my two lights for the machine A now my last coil for the wrong second is Q02 I will adjust the size now I'm going to join these pins here on to my third rung I'm going to add a contact which is the M0 then in series I'm going to add another contact which is Q01 And I'm going to add a function block from the standard, which is the pulse timer. And onto the coil side, I'm going to add my first coil, which is machine B. Sorry. I will adjust it is size then I'm going to add another coil which is Q3 and for last coil Q4 which are again the lights used to indicate that machine B is running. I will join these pins here. Now I need to add two variables e hash twenty seconds for my first timer and second variable t hash ten seconds for my second timer. Now I am going to start the simulation.
Okay, so the simulation is complete. I will click on to the table classes here. I will drag this up. You can see for now that both of the machine A and machine B are false. And when I start or push the button, you can see that the machine A is running and the Q01 and Q02, which are, I think, the green lights indicating that the machine A is running for 20 seconds and machine B is false for now as you can see that now the machine A is false and machine B is running with the Q3 and Q4 indicating that the machine B is running. Now you can use the reset to reset this whole process here. Now, if you can see that I've used Q01 normally closed contact here with the third rung, which I have latched here from the squares, which is the second rung. Now, a point here that you can use any one of the coils here for the same process. Let me stop the simulation and change the contact here, which is Q01 and change it to machine A. Then again, I will start the simulation. You'll see that it does not affect the ladder diagram or the process. You can use either machine A, Q01 or Q02. The simulation is complete. I will click on the debug instance and drag this up. Now, when I start or push the button, you can see that the machine A is true and the machine B is false. The machine A will be true up to preset time and after the preset time, the machine B will be true and A will be false for the preset time of machine B, which was the 20 seconds for machine A and 10 seconds for machine B. And with the preset, you could reset the process or the plot and with this our video ends here thank you for watching